Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding is right around the corner. Characters with dumb names, babies in glass wombs, and Norman Reedus taking a shower. Yeah, it sounds about right. Death Stranding was shaping up to be one of the more polarizing games of this generation. Not everyone gets a Kojima game. At the time of recording, Death Stranding has an average score of 86 on Open Critic. For those who ditched a numerical scoring system, like everyone should, 83% recommend it. Critics are giving this game four and a half creepy babies crawling out of a womb out of five. As far as that scale goes, Death Stranding is a good to great game that many people will enjoy. But the numbers don't tell the whole story. Let's talk about what the reviews are really saying. Death Stranding's story is complicated. It's described as laughable, boring as batshit, and ultimately meaningless. The first 10 or so hours is spent in exposition, filled with lengthy cutscenes and nonsense jargon. Wait, what's that acronym everyone keeps using? Who knows? I don't know about you, but sometimes when a game takes too long to get going, I just never finish it. Even after the credits roll, Kojima is still trying to explain what the hell is going on. It makes sense to him, but not to anybody else. It's like when someone tells you a really boring story and never fully gets to the point. The trailers didn't reveal much, and neither does the game itself. General consensus is the plot is just plain bad, but not everyone feels this way. Death Stranding represents Kojima at his most Kojima. This time, nobody said, nah, you can't do that, or no, this doesn't really make sense. We get to see the full extent of his vision with this game. A lot of people respect Kojima for his role as an auteur of the game industry, if anything. Death Stranding is full Kojima. Where the narrative is lackluster, the performances are top-notch. Particularly Guillermo del Toro as Dead Man, Leah Sado as Fragile, or Fragile, and Margaret Qualley as Mama. These characters breathe life into the story and make the most of their material. Also, Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus. Norman f***ing Reedus. By all accounts, he gets the job done as Sam, the generic main character. Also, you get to see his butt a lot, arguably too much. Oh, and you can pee with him too. Across the board, Death Stranding is praised for its visuals. The rugged terrain of post-apocalypse America is hauntingly empty and beautifully rendered. The character models and animation are seriously impressive here. It's being declared the best looking game on PlayStation 4, which is saying a lot considering how many gorgeous games have come out in the past few years. Simply put, the game is incredible in the looks department. Nearly everyone agrees that Death Stranding can feel repetitive. All that gameplay we saw at Tokyo Game Show and the Game Awards? Yep, that is it. It's a glorified Amazon delivery simulator, except you're in the future, monsters are chasing you, and babies help you get there. Now, obviously, that's an exaggeration. There's much more to it. But still, around 90% of the missions over the game's 40 to 50 hours require you to do this. Transport cargo from point A to point B. That's why a lot of people are saying this gameplay loop is boring, frustrating, and monotonous. Once you've learned the simple mechanics, things don't evolve much from there. Climb this mountain, cross this river, it's all the same. At the same time, many people found the cycle of planning, hiking, and delivering packages rewarding, and in some cases downright addicting. There's a heavy focus on inventory management, and it can really make the difference between life and death. Your tools are limited in the first part of the game, but the variety in landscapes and obstacles keep things interesting. The way you interact with the world draws a lot of comparisons to Red Dead Redemption 2 and Breath of the Wild. The emphasis is on realism, where stuff actually takes time and effort to do. Let's take fast traveling. In IGN's review, they showed that you have to skip no less than five cutscenes every single time you want to fast travel. Talk about hurry up and wait. Another example, weight management. If Sam's packages are too top heavy, he'll fall over like a toddler and the toddler strapped to his stomach will get very upset. Managing your balance is an actual game mechanic. You can avoid this by holding down buttons to keep him upright. 
if anything is worth doing, it's worth doing the long and hard way at least according to Kojima. Combat is pretty bare bones. Packs of enemies called mules try to steal your cargo. For a while, the only way you can fight back is with your fists and your feet. Later on, you'll get a bunch of fancy toys that make it feel more like a Metal Gear Solid game. Stealth is always an option, but it feels more like horror stealth than stealth action. That's because supernatural beings called BTs will hunt Sam down. They're genuinely terrifying at first, but they lose their novelty once you know how to deal with them. It just feels like combat is not a focus of this game. The coolest part of Death Stranding is the social system. It's kind of like Dark Souls, which has this cool mechanic where you can leave notes for other players to find. You can say, hey, there's a chest over here, or watch out for that boss. In this game, things like ladders and bridges will appear, signaling, hey, this is how I made my delivery. You should try this out. You can rate these objects with a like, and the more likes, the more likely it'll appear in other people's world. This game is about connecting people together, and the social system really nails that. It's also one of the most unique and impressive uses of asynchronous interaction in a game to date. It makes the world feel less lonely, and for some people, it will inspire you to help others in their journey to the West. From my perspective, Death Stranding seems to be one of those either you like it or you don't type of games. Do you value quality of life mechanics and the ability to pick up and play a game easily? Eh, this game may not be for you. Do you like to take your time and soak in the experience as it was intended? Then this could be your game of the year 2019. Some will undoubtedly be frustrated, while others will appreciate Kojima's visionary execution. For better or worse, Death Stranding is a completely unique experience and something we've never played quite like before. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited to find out whether I like it or not when it comes out on November 8th. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.